studies going well? Yeah. Our Korean students arrive at all different ages, so they could be age 13 up to about 16. So when they arrive, it's really important that when they first get here that we give them a lot of support. It's a new culture, it's a new school system. So we have to make sure that in the first few months especially they spend a lot of time with us and that we look after them really, really well. We do multiple readings. We have Korean speaking teachers. We have a leader sort of system where the older students will meet and help and mentor the younger students when they first arrive. So that pastoral care and, and looking after them when they first arrive just sets them up for the rest of their time in New Zealand. Korean students are generally here because they want a really high class education and the New Zealand system is second to none. The quality of education here is government regulated so that every school has the same regulations and the same top quality education. We tend to basically think about our international students as our own children. So whenever something comes up with an international student that I'm dealing with, the first thing I would think is, how would I want my own son to be treated? We expect the teachers to treat them the same way. And their families have often spent a lot of money and have worked really hard for them to study here. And that's a big responsibility for us. So we take it really, really seriously. We have a really close relationship with our homestay families and they're chosen really carefully. Every school in New Zealand, when they have a student in a homestay, goes through the same process. We would go and we would meet the homestay family in their home. We would see the room where the student was going to live. We'd do a police check on everybody over the age of 18 in the house. And then we really carefully select which student is going to go to which family. When the students arrive, they're in this little cocoon. They're quite shy. Um, their English usually isn't very good. And then by the time they leave five years later, they are almost like a little butterfly. They're confident, they're well-spoken, they've done really well academically, and we know that we're sending them off with a really good base for their university studies around the world.